Hi everyone, my apologies for using a text-to-speech voice. I have allergies and I don't think that my rasper voice is any good. This text-to-speech thing is likely better. Anyway, today I want to talk a bit about Active Shooter, the game recently removed from Steam. The game, released by an alleged Steam troll, is one in which some players take control of students, or victims, other players take control of a SWAT team, and one or two players take the role of a school shooter. The purpose of the shooter in the game is to kill as many players as possible without getting killed by the SWAT players. Understandably, the game received a heavy backlash due to the serious content depicted and how many people felt it was offensive and exploitative. Responding to this backlash, gamers argued that the game should remain in Steam because of free speech issues. I'm sure this debate of free speech versus intent to offend and exploit is an interesting one, but not the one I want to address now. Instead, I want to explore other questions is a game about school shootings inherently offensive? How can a game tackling this important topic be made in a way that explores the issue and dissuades players from engaging in this kind of violent behavior instead of normalizing violence and desensitizing the player? Let's start with the question can video games be art? Despite some critics' apprehension to an affirmative answer, it seems to me not only that video games can be art, but that they are art. Whether they're good art or trash is another question, but by any definition games are art. I can expand on this argument later, but for now let's roll with this assumption. One of the purposes of art is to mirror and comment on reality. This has been true since cave paintings and has been established in theory since Aristotle. Now let's consider. If games are art and art represent and comment on reality, and if we are currently living in times where tragic shill shootings happen nearly every month, is it really that surprising for a video game to tackle the issue of school shootings? I'm honestly surprised that such a game didn't come out sooner. That being said, did the game do the issue a disservice? I think yes. I do think that the author's intent was not to comment on the issue or dissuade potential shooters, but rather to capitalize on and exploit these tragedies. Let's explore. What type of gameplay would this type of game need to make a nuanced comment on school shootings? It couldn't be a competition. It would need to make the shooter role one that can never be won. The shooter player should always end up being either shot or captured by the SWAT players. This means that there should be some kind of mechanic to prevent the shooter from being a badass. Making the shooter's camera be constantly shaky, adding flashes of light slash darkness, and adding other visual elements that people go through when they are going through high stress moments would help. With that, Perhaps adding voices speaking to the shooter Are you sure you want to do this? What if they get you? Etc. would also work. Finally, the more rampage that the shooter does, the worse these conditions get and the more visible the shooter gets in the SWAT player's map the shooter would not have a map. Players in the role of students should be able to tackle the shooter, but the game should make it so that it's incredibly difficult. The purpose here is not to make the player feel like a badass, but rather to make the player feel a high level of stress. Just as a shooter's experience shouldn't end in some kind of victory or win, neither should the experience of those playing the victim. It should end, at best, as survived. Finally, the SWAT player should have the strongest weapons and armor, but should still be vulnerable to the shooter. The SWAT players can win, but only if two conditions are met the shooter is captured alive, and no one dies no victim or SWAT players. Otherwise, they lose. These are just starting steps. The game would need to be really thoughtful of the subject matter and respectful of those who have suffered through this kind of experience. Is this what Active Shooter does? No. The game featured only two roles those off the shooter and the SWAT members. The game pit these two in a competition a cat and mouse game where the student and PCS were just objects in the game to be scored for points. The aesthetics and visual effects, slow motion effect when the shooter player shoots, and the ease with which the active shooter can win the game do the exact opposite of presenting a thoughtful commentary on school shooting. Instead, the game seemed to be shouting this is so cool to the shooter player. In other words, whatever the author might claim, and despite the disclaimer that the game brings, the game's design and aesthetics clearly want to make the shooter the cool character. So, does this mean that the game should have been pulled from the storm? That's something we can discuss some other time. And for the leader politics out of my games, crowd I can sort of hear that argument. Some writers interject politics in their game coverage where it's unwarranted. But Active Shooter is an inherently political game, read work of art, so there's that. Anyway, have a good one and I'll see you next time.